Hi, I'm Bianca Henry, Today Show food stylist and iVillage contributor. Consider the butternut squash. It is healthy, it is inexpensive, and it's extremely versatile. You've got a triple win. However, the squash is very hard, so it can be tricky to cut. We're going to take a few precautions and make it easy. Start by cutting off the bottom of the squash. This gives you a flat surface to stand the squash on, keeps it from rolling around while you're trying to cut through it. Then take your knife in the very center of the top, begin cutting down. You might have to wedge a little bit. Take your other hand and simply rock the knife back and forth till you get all the way through to the bottom. Great. Now you've got a gorgeous little bunch of seeds down here which you need to scoop out. But look how much meat there is in the squash in the neck. It's solid meat. That's part of its value, too. There we go. Now, there are a couple of different things you can do with a butternut squash. One is to simply cut it into slices and roast it. And if you're going to do that, the beauty of this squash is you don't even have to peel it. Simply cut it into slices. When you're roasting it at a high heat, the peeling gets extremely soft and it's amazingly flavorful and you can eat the whole thing and you don't even notice a change in texture. So simple slices, chunks, whatever you like. Transfer it to a dish, sprinkle over a little olive oil, a little salt. If you like spices, add a few of those. Put it in a 400 degree oven and you've got gorgeous brown caramelized squash slices. The other common thing to do with the butternut squash is to puree it. You can make a soup with it, you can make mashed butternut squash, and if you're going to do that, you do need to peel it. So I'm just going to cut off the top, hold it in my one hand, and use a vegetable peeler for the other. You could use a knife if you want to, but this is a lot easier. Now the reason I cut the squash in half before peeling it is because once you have peeled away the skin, the surface of the squash is a little bit slippery and trying to cut a slippery butternut squash is a little too hazardous. So that's it. You peel the entire squash, you cut it into chunks, you cook it up, and you've got your ready-to-go puree. Thanks for watching. Check out iVillage.com for more kitchen tips.